This year's recently adopted state budget continues to commit $700 million annually to a refundable tax credit for film and television productions in New York. The refundable nature of the credit means that for some productions, their tax liability isn't just lowered. The companies, which can be major players like Disney and Netflix, end up with actual state cash in their pockets. Proponents of the credit argue that this supports an industry that is extremely mobile and would otherwise not be in New York and claim that the economic benefits to the state exceeds the cost of the program, although that last point has been hotly contested. For more on the impact of the credit, including what it means for Upstate specifically, we're joined on the Capitol Press Room by Debbie Gedeke, the Albany County Film Commissioner. Welcome to the show, Debbie. Thank you for having me. So you've been the film commissioner for Albany County for about two decades. So over that time period, how have film and television productions ebbed and flowed uh, in Albany County? So when I first started, uh, Film Albany is a division of Discover Albany. So when I first started at the agency, they said to me, oh, you may get a call once in a while from a photographer uh, about a commercial or, uh, you know, some something else that, that would... Uh, you would be able to need to find locations for them. So I said, okay, and I, I kind of just did it kind of here and, and there. And then I actually got a call. I was on vacation in Lake Placid. I got a call from, at that time, the governor's film office, and they said to me that SALT was considering Albany, and could I come back for a meeting with SALT? At, no brainer there. Absolutely, I could. So I drove down, I met with the salt location manager. And honestly, it has taken off since then, because the salt location manager told the other guy's location manager what a great spot Albany is to film in. And so we had them here, you know, shortly thereafter. So word of mouth really travels that the capital region and especially Albany County is just a great place to film in. And it's very film friendly. And for listeners who aren't familiar with the movie Salt, this was a big blockbuster starring Angelina Jolie. In your time, though, have there been a mix of movies, both big blockbusters as well as more small independent film and television? Oh, absolutely. So we had Miles George's Parafet just came back uh, a couple years ago with Hilary Swank. Uh, it was called uh, Mother's Milk, and now it's called The Good Mother. He shot here, used all local crew services, re uh, resources, locations, uh, uh, utilized uh, quite a few of the youth FX folks uh, that are here in Albany. So that that's been shot here, and then of course we'd have we we have the White House plumbers. Billions, uh, I believe. Oh yes, yes, in the yes. Here. Billions filmed here in the Capital Region, Gilded Age uh, several times. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it, it's it's kind of taken on a life of its own. So in addition to the tax credit, which we'll get into, what is it that you think draws people to the city of Albany or Albany County? more broadly in terms of wanting to film here? Well, first of all, we're a 400 plus year old city. So our architecture truly matches Brooklyn, New York City, Washington, DC. So it can double for all of that. We also, uh, we just make it easy for them to come to the capital region and Albany County. There's not layers that they have to go through to get approval to be able to, to film in, in here in the capital region. And that's a huge plus. I can't tell you how many location managers have said to me, I have never filmed in a place where it's so easy to work with a particular city. Well, have you as the Albany County Film Commissioner had to work with municipal leaders at the city or even county level to try to smooth out this process or has it always been like that? Uh, no, I haven't had to smooth out anything. They have been very receptive and supportive right from the very beginning. Our county executive Dan McCoy, Mayor Sheehan, they both have been very, very supportive in everything that we do film-wise. So in addition to the other elements that uh, attract film and television production that you've just been talking about, there is the tax incentive mm -hmm. from the state, which covers up to 30% of a film's qualified production costs with another 10% yep. uh, available to certain upstate counties. Is Albany County one of those upstate counties? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm curious, how 
meaningful is that 10% bump in terms of getting productions to travel north of New York City? Well, when we get a call and the first uh, we talk about the film tax credits, you, you know, more or less generically and how it would fit into their production, the next words out of their mouth is now Albany County, they have that extra 10% bump, right? So it is a definite factor when people are looking at the various counties to film in. So a report that came out earlier this year on behalf of the Hochul administration, uh, which is a major supporter of the tax credit and actually helped grow the tax credit, found that for every dollar the state gives in tax breaks uh, between 2018 through 2022, the film tax credit drew back in an estimated 15 cents in direct tax revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, that return increases to 31 cents when factoring in indirect and induced jobs, uh, which still falls short of that dollar being sent. Mm -hmm. Uh, given those findings, do you think this is ultimately a worthwhile investment? Uh, m most definitely. And, and I'll just share with you, during COVID, we had Amazon come, and they did Modern Love here. And this was right smack in the middle of COVID. They utilized hotel sleeping rooms where you could have shot off a cannon anywhere for anybody going into a hotel. They utilized a local catering company. Uh, feeding over 200 people for eight weeks. That came to over a half a million dollars. Again, utilizing those tax incentives. When Gilded Age was here, they had 400 jobs that they've created. They infused 10.8 million into the local economic activity. It supported 94 local businesses. I've had people say to me, we have been able to make renovations to our home or to our business because of the location fees that were paid uh, by Gilded Age. I had a business locally say we were able to replace a furnace in our building. And these are all the things that people don't hear about when the film production companies come. You know, these are those organic grassroots level where these productions are, are impacting that. All the food from Gilded Age, we worked with the Capital Region Mission. Any leftover food, that food was delivered to the mission. Uh, Troy, they did tours that sold out. Uh, Gilded Age tours. So there's all those ancillary benefits that come when a production comes to Albany. So everything you outlined, though, is theoretically factored into this report. So I'm curious whether you think that the dollar investment for 30 cents back is accurate. I mean, do you feel like you're getting more for your bang for your buck than that? Um, I mean, I, I again, I... There's a lot of different factors that go into those reports and the data, and I'm, you know, I'm not certain what that is per se. I only, I, I want to speak on what I know it does for us here locally. Uh, Paramount Pictures just shot in downtown Albany. Again, almost three hundred thousand dollars into the local economy for a week of shooting here in Albany. We're still recovering from COVID. A lot of our businesses and hotels are still recovering from COVID. So there is an infusion in the arm. I also, I, I, I kind of feel like there's good and bad reports for everything. Whether it's manufacturing, automotive, film, everybody's going to have a different opinion on where the money should go because everybody wants that money. So if the benefits of the credit outweigh the costs, why not just have individual counties that believe in this program fund the tax breaks? If ultimately this program, having some sort of tax incentive, is a net positive for Albany County, why not just have Albany County foot the bill? Well, I, again, we're still recovering from COVID. But if it's a net positive, any money you put in, you'll get back, so it wouldn't really cost you anything. Well, you'd have to ask Dan McCoy that question. Because that is is not something that uh, you know that that I would have control over or the legislature. I just here's the one thing I see: we have lost a couple projects to other states mm -hmm. that had more robust film tax credits. So New York State has to remain competitive with these other states. And I, Governor Hochul's a smart lady. I think she realizes that. So it does seem like the reality is 
movie productions, television productions go where they get the best incentives, wherever it is fiscally making sense to them, regardless of the other accoutrements that a community like Albany can offer, whether it is the setting or whether it is the environment and all the other help. So given that, isn't there an argument that could be made that maybe we don't want to be tied to an industry that is so transigent? Why wouldn't we maybe want to invest in, say, high-tech jobs that once they are here, they're going to stay here and those connected industries are going to stay here as opposed to something that is able to leave on a whim? Well, I don't think you can say anything is going to stay here definitely. Okay, whether it's the high tech jobs or whatever, it may be they're going to stay here for a few months or they may stay here for a few years. So I think that's all it's all speculation. Um, In the meantime, we were just we're going to just keep promoting. We're going to keep promoting our city and our region to the film production companies that uh, that want to come here. I can share with you that California saw a decrease in their film production oh, when no the doubt. when the other states started beefing up their film tax credits. So they added more money into the film tax credits. Do you think we should be more careful of how we allocate funds? Because programs like Saturday Night Live, a uniquely New York show, is a beneficiary of this tax credit. It is filmed out of the NBC headquarters in New York City. The idea that it's going to be broadcast from Atlanta, Georgia, because they offer a better tax break, Mm -hmm. probably is hard to swallow. Mm -hmm. So could we do a better job determining who qualifies for this money? I think we could do a better job, but that's not in, in my realm, um, you know, my responsibility is to market our city and our region to the film production companies. So, um, you know, that, that, that would be up to somebody else that would look at that. Well, do you think there should be maybe a shift in the benefit for filming outside of New York City? There already is that 10% additional bonus. Should that be even more or make the incentive in New York City less so that the productions that might not necessarily consider upstate have even more reason to go upstate? Well, of course I would love that. I mean, we're here in upstate New York, so I absolutely would love 20 percent for upstate New York. Uh, Any time that these film tax credits come around and they're in the budget, uh, you know, these are things that we all look at and we propose to our assembly members, uh, John McDonald, Pat Fahey, uh, Neil Breslin, uh, very big supporters of filming here in the arts uh, in, in the capital region. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave things there. We've been no. Speaking. I know. I'm sorry, Oh, Debbie. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> We've been speaking with Debbie Gedeke. She is the Albany County Film Commissioner. Debbie, thank you for visiting us in the Capitol Press Room studio. It's always our pleasure. Thank you for having us. And for more Capitol Press Room content, visit capitalpressroom.org or wherever you download your favorite podcasts. And if you listen to us from an Apple device, make sure to leave us a rating and a review so it helps other people find the show. Support for the Capitol Press Room provided by the New York State AFL-CIO, a federation of 3,000 unions fighting for working people by keeping New York State union strong. Visit unionstrongny.org for more information. Join us again for Capitol Press Room, a production of WCNY Connected, Syracuse.